Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing a vacuum leak test. On our last episode, I did a filter change on the HKS intakes. And so with the intakes off, I wanna make sure I have no boost leaks, no vacuum leak product that I was kind of interested in. And so I ended up just buying it. And it's actually the AutoLine Pro vacuum tester. Uh, it comes in this really cool, almost bougie box. So you got your smoke tester here. And it comes with a little, a lot of little knickknacks. So surprisingly, this came with a LED light and a little, little love letter. And you have your smoke fluid here. And then all your fittings and attachments. So yeah, this way you'll be able to hang this. And these are the couplers that will fit inside the intake runners there. And there's these little, I think one's the plug, these red guys here, one's the plug and then one's the feed the smoke. And then obviously your instructions and battery source. I'm new to this because I'm not entirely sure how to do this on a twin turbo setup. But um, after doing some research, I kind of have an idea. Uh, so what the game plan is going to be is I'm going to plug the primary and then on the secondary turbine runner I'm actually going to uh, run the smoke through here theoretically smoke will run through the whole both turbos and then I'll start running cooler piping run up through the intake manifold and then hopefully I'll, I'll hit all vacuum lines if we don't get any smoke you know we'll be good but I'm just worried if we do get smoke it's gonna be under here I don't want to take this off because I'm just pretty much ready to put this back together, give it a test drive and then go get it tuned. But if I have to take this off, it's just gonna slow things down, but this will be a good a good way to know if I have any vacuum leaks. So I can get that taken care of before I get the cartoon. All right, seems pretty straightforward. So we have our smoke fluid and then we'll pop that guy in here. And then it has a, obviously a max fill. This has its own little uh, air pump. The gauge is zero, there's no leaks, but if the gauge moves up uh there's a leak somewhere and so obviously you got to listen for it uh, another thing too we got the cones so this will go on to the intake runners we'll plug this up and then add this guy to the end here and these are little plugs so like i said earlier we'll plug the primary and then run the smoke through the secondary and yeah, it seems really straightforward. I'm excited to try this out. So let's see what happens. All right, primary runner, it's in. So it's neat, very like malleable. So I was able to just shove this in. I don't think I have to tighten these down, but I'll run the cone plug in. Next we'll do the secondary. Ooh, this might be too big. Let's see, oh, no, there we go. And they're nice and tight. So I filled this up and neat thing is like it's uh, battery powered so we don't have to run a long uh, power source. So next we're going to run this hose into here. We'll get the pump going and we'll see if we have any leaks. The power switch is on the left side so you hit it once. Start running and we have smoke. And then you hit it twice. Uh, the second time the air pump will go on there we go and then it's off some of these smoke testers their smoke is very very smelly so this isn't too bad it's not as stinky to smell like rotten eggs a few moments later our right, status report so right now i want to say we're maybe 10 minutes into the smoke tester. Uh, still nothing. Um, I had a little bit of a leak coming out of the BOV, um, but I forgot to tighten this down. So good thing that it showed that. Not seeing anything. Been going around just checking possible vacuum sources. And again, I'm not seeing anything. 20 minutes have gone by. And I had a little scare because I saw some smoke coming from up under here, but I couldn't really figure it out. But then I slowly traced it to my oil cap and check this out. 
look at that so yeah this thing is filled up with smoke and i'm going to show you guys something else that's pretty cool too it's, it's coming out of the exhaust i'm going to go under the car because if it's coming through the exhaust i'm going to see if the flanges are tight and see if smoke's coming out of those but i think we're done so I'm just gonna verify everything and then we'll wrap things up. Only found two leaks, one on the secondary turbo where the piping goes into, the intake runner goes into the turbo. Found one there, tightened it up. But what's really interesting, like you can kind of see the leak coming through like the threads. Um, so I find that very weird. Second leak that I found is on the throttle body, but I don't know how to remedy this without just getting a new throttle body. So I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Right in here. I, don't know. I hope you guys can see it. So where this goes into the throttle body, if I blow some air on it, you'll see the smoke start to kind of billow out of it again. And yeah, I'm not 100% sure how to remedy this because uh, I wonder if there's like some sort of locking ring, O-ring, some sort of seal here. And you know, the car's old. I'm again, very ecstatic for only finding two leaks. One was pretty easy to get to. This one, I'm not 100% sure. So I'm gonna ask around how to fix that. Again, I'm happy with only just finding two leaks and, they're not, and I'm super happy we don't have any uh, leaks coming up under the intake manifold so you know I'll take my win so yeah I'm very very happy with this guy I highly recommend it everyone should get it I'll put the links down in the description obviously but I got off Amazon we'll remedy these uh, vacuum leaks next we'll be getting the cartoon so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it was helpful but don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys next time